Hi guys and welcome to my tutorial on VIP tokens. Uh, this particular plugin allows you to add a monetary uh, option to your server uh, in addition to any any current sort of monetary uh, plugins that you're running. Uh, the plugin allows players to purchase a token that will provide access to an existing permission group on your server, such as VIP. Uh, these tokens can be traded, sold, given to other players in game for in-game resources and currencies. Uh, and the benefit of this is it allows players who have no intention of donating to the server to obtain perks such as VIP uh, while giving, I guess, your more generated, more generous sort of donators the ability to provide these people with VIP in exchange for a leg up. Uh, it's also a good way for players to be able to gift each other VIP. Uh, so I've got a few example coins that I've created here. Um, you can see I've got a, a, VIP, a token that represents uh, VIP. So this will provide 30 days of VIP access when consumed. Uh, this is one for VIP tier two access. This is for tier three access. Um, thumbs up access, which is just something I made. Uh, Bitcoin and uh, recycler access. So all of these uh, all these coins can be consumed and they'll redeem and, and add, a, add the player to whatever group you designate. And it's completely customizable. So you can create, you can scale this and it reduce this to as many VIP perks or as many monetary perks as you'd like to add um, and it's just a simple matter of simply creating an oxide group and adding permissions within that group and these tokens then will add and remove users from said group uh, when consumed. Uh, so let's uh, let's jump into it and I'll uh, give you a bit more of a demonstration. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the interface. It's a simple interface uh, and it is a it is a interface that adjusts depending on how many tiers you've got. Uh, in this particular example, I've only got one tier, um, so you can see there it is VIP tier one. Uh, token balance is how many physical coins the player has purchased or has, has put into their wallet, so it's effectively their wallet balance. And end date is the end date um, of any redeem tokens that they have um, for their VIP. So, for example, if they if they redeem or if they consume a VIP token, it's going to change the end date from NA to you know 30 days from today. Um, there's also an information button here, you can, in the configuration file, you can actually add a description of what the particular token will provide you with. So descriptions, the token has 30 days of standard VIP, features include blah 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 blah. Uh, and they can withdraw and deposit tokens from their, uh, from their wallet to their inventory or from their inventory to their wallet. Uh, so fairly, fairly straightforward and it is expandable, which I'll show you when we uh, go, through the, go through the configuration piece. Uh, so a couple of winning game command you can basically use to give yourself tokens or spawn tokens into the game without doing it via a Tebex or via a uh, console command is give token and then space whatever the token um, key is. So for example, in this case, it's VIP. So you can see here I've just redeemed, re redeemed a, uh, a VIP token. So if I bring the token menu back up, I can use the deposit button to deposit that into my wallet. And you can see my balance has now gone up. Uh, I can also withdraw that into my inventory and again, my balance has now gone down. Uh, now I've put a, a failsafe in there and a, a delay to prevent players from duplicating tokens because the menu might be slower than you know, the information being handled. Um, so there is a two second delay between the actions. It gives the uh, plugin plenty of time to catch up. Uh, and re actually redeeming a token for VIP uh, membership is as simple as consuming. So you can see I've redeemed 30 days of VIP. Uh, and there it is. Now the date format at the moment is uh, month, day, year. Um, I've put it in the configuration so you can adjust that depending on your region. So my region I traditionally do it as day, month, year. Uh, others might do it as year, month, day. So again, you can, we'll go through that shortly. Um, but it is fairly straightforward. Um, now in terms of redeeming a token, uh, how this would work is it's a, it's a command line that you can put in via a Tebex and for those who are familiar with the platform it's pretty straightforward. Um, you have a specific uh, command line that you put in that you have run unique to that player's user ID or Steam ID. Um, and yeah, basically the, uh, the regardless of whether the player is online or offline, it's going to add a, uh, it's going to increment their VIP balance by one depending on you know which tier they purchase. So you can again you can have as many tiers as you really well like, um, or or you, it doesn't doesn't necessarily have to be VIP tiers. You can have you know just a simple recycler attached to a permission group. Say you know 
the player has the ability to purchase or you know purchase the ability to make or simply place a recycler in their base um, during a wipe uh, or you know how you can be as creative as you like so if you've got a you know a current setup in game where uh, players are currently able to pay for the privilege of doing something you can effectively assign a token to it so um, yeah it allows them to trade in game and generate some really good money for your server so basically it gives the whales something extra to buy um, to get ahead and it also gives the players who have no intention of donating your server donating to your server the ability to you know assist those whales in getting ahead in return for some VIP um, so let's go into the configuration side of things and have a peek all right so this is the configuration uh, so I'll take you through each line here and I'll show you how to uh, add additional sort of uh, token tiers uh, to this config, config as well. Uh, so the first one here is maximum VIP days that player can accumulate per, uh, per tier, uh, which by default is set at 90. Now this is basically to prevent players from, you know, redeeming potentially five years worth of tokens on their account, um, you know, and, and potentially having circumstances change on your server such as, you know, the particular VIP tier being removed or changed or, you know, cut in half or having, you know, price increases that sort of thing so um, yeah restricting the the, the tier uh, will help you know transitions of, if you do decide to sort of change the way the that particular tier works um, otherwise if you, you, know, you don't want to have a limit to that that's a very high number or set as low as you like as long as it's not less than whatever the, um, the minimum of days to add is uh, sound effects from purchasing. So when we did the, uh, per the the test purchase and redemption before, you could hear that vending machines exchange. And it's just simply this prefab file here. So um, you can change that to whatever you like. But basically, when a player redeems it or purchases a token, they're going to hear that that sound effect, and only they are going to hear that sound effect. Uh, now this is the uh, password. Um, so basically, when uh, we set up the TebX or when we run a, a console command, we want to have this password for security. Uh, to prevent players from being able to type that same command in uh, and simply redeeming as many as many tokens as they like, if you know, whatever, however they find out about the, the, this particular plugin. Um, so having a password there, you can just simply adjust to whatever you like. Set this to whatever whatever you want. Make it you know as long or as short as you like, but as long as it's unique and no one knows what it is, um, like any password, I guess. Uh, and yeah, this is effectively what you're going to be running through the console or through uh, through a payment platforms such as Tebex. Uh, the chat commands to open up the actual menu, which you saw me use before. So token menu, store token, token balance, or VIP menu. Chat and change these, add or remove them. As long as there's at least one there to open the menu up, that's all you need. Um, but I like having more than one way to open a menu up, just so it's you know easy to remember. Some people people remember different types of things easier than others. So uh, date. Time format, which I mentioned before, you can adjust the way your date and time is formatted and presented to your players. So in my instance, I, you know, I'm from Australia, so day, month, year is the way it is over here. Uh, obviously, across the pond, other places do it differently. So you know, month, day, year might be the the way that you uh, you format it. But just remember, it is case sensitive. So you know, lowercase two two lowercase d's represents day, two uppercase m's represents month, and Four lowercase y's represents a year. Format this however you like, as long as there's a, a hyphen separating each, um, you're good. Uh, and prevent players from consuming a token if they already if they are already in the same group. Now this is set uh, specifically specifically for servers that um, are running, you know, purchasing a VIP server like VIP tiers alongside the, the token system. So for example, um, on, on our server we sell. VIP directly to a player, so a player can buy VIP from our server. Tebex will run a command onto the server to add that user to the uh, VIP group, and then 30 days later, we'll send another command to remove that user from the VIP group. Um, that's pretty much it. So what this will do is this will prevent players who are, who are kind, of, kind of obtained VIP from another means that wasn't via a token from redeeming a token, because what will happen is the token will run concurrently with that, you know, with that other purchase that will run at the same time. And, just kind of waste half of the, the VIP that they're, they're paying for. Uh, so basically what they would need to do is they need to end their current VIP session. And once that's finished, they can then redeem a token and you know continue on using tokens moving forward. Um, so it's just again prevents players from wasting their um, you know from wasting their VIP and making complaints to you. 
um, if you don't, if you want them to just be able to do it anyway, just set that to false and you know, let it lie. Now, uh, under the VIP levels, these are the VIP tiers that we uh, that we have. At the moment, we've only got one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to add another tier. So you can see here we've got name, days to add, uh, days to add so how many days this is going to run for. The VIP group, so the uh, actual in-game um, oxide group that you've created for your VIP or for the particular permission. Uh, the description, so we saw in here this is, a, um, this is our description here. Um, and, uh, and obviously... Uh, the, the actual token item itself, so the name of the token when a player highlights it. Um, token 30 days. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another one on here. So I'm going to kind of, uh, you, if you select the curly brackets here, you can see they're, where they kind of separate. I'm going to select this, put a comma, put a comma at the end there, and duplicate it. So I'm going to set this one as a unique ID. So this is the key. This is effectively when you type in the give command or the the console, the add, add token co uh, console command. This is the the key that you're going to be typing in to, for the player to re to identify which token they're going to be receiving. Um, so I'm going to make it a, a unique name. So this could be you know Bitcoin for instance, but you know, I, I like to keep it sort of fairly unified. So I'm going to call it sort of VIP2. Uh, the name of it can be you know Cool Dudes doesn't really matter, call it whatever you like. Um, VIP group, so I'm going to call this one Dudes, I guess. So, it's the Dudes group they're going to be added to if they redeem this token. Now, the way uh, token to the VIP descriptions are is you can use a backslash N to separate the lines or to go down to the next line. So, I'll give you an example in here so we can say uh, this is cool, backslash N, this is a new line backslash n this is also a new line backslash n backslash n this is two lines different we'll see what that looks like uh, when we run this configuration in game uh, now token item so uh, a couple of key things here the tone the name of the token you would again you want to make this feel unique uh, so let's just call this one a Bitcoin because why not uh, it's not case sensitive this particular name here because um, rust makes every character uppercase anyway uh, for an item description um, but the actual skin itself is uh, another thing we need to change so each of these skins need to be completely unique uh, I've created four skins that you can use if you like and I'll post them on the sales page um, inclusive but uh, I'm gonna grab one and just stick it in for now and I'll show, give an example of what it looks like it's basically just a Bitcoin uh, but these are super simple to make and super simple to upload to your workshop all you need to do is just simply put in the uh, the unique code here, and as long as it's a 512 by 512 image, you're fine. Uh, and then the item short name, if you don't want it to be a radiation pure T, you can change it to whatever you know consumable object you like. Uh, as long as it as long as it's a consumable object that gives some form of benefit, it'll work fine. Um, so let's uh, let's fire up this configuration in game and see what it looks like. All right, so if we type in our, uh, our our command here, so VIP menu. You can see here now we've now got our second tier added, cool dudes. Got a balance of zero and date of not applicable to redeem anything. Now if we open up the info panel here, you can see our description that we created. This is cool. This is a new line, which was obviously the backslash end here. This is a new line, which is obviously a backslash end here. Uh, and then this is two backslash ends, or this is two lines different. Uh, so let's redeem token and see what it looks like. Now if I type give token without any arguments in it, it's going to show the two options I have. So I can do token VIP one, VIP or VIP2. So I'm going to go give token VIP2, which is the new one that we created. You can see here I've got a little Bitcoin. So I can drink this Bitcoin. Uh, oh, there we go. Triggered the, uh, actually triggered that, that fail save I mentioned before about player already being in the group. Um, so let me just quickly remove myself from the group and then consume that. All right, so let's consume this again. So you redeem 30 days of VIP for cool dudes. Let's redeem this token here as well. So you can see here we've got end date 10th to 10th 2021, end date 8th to 11th uh, 2021. So uh, obviously this is uh, in American date and time format. So <coughs> August 11th at 2021 is when this will finish. 
so that's pretty much it for the uh, for the interface menu side of things. So let's move on and show you the uh, console command, how that works, and then we'll move on to the tabx setup, uh, and then we're all done. So. So this is my console here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to run a run the console command, uh, and again I'll put this on the sales page, uh, so you can see exactly what what the arguments and everything else are for it. Um, but it's fairly straightforward. So we're going to get the uh, we're going to add first off we're going to add token, which is the command itself. We need to add our password in. It's the first argument. So if we have a look here, we can find our password here. We're then going to add the player ID that we want this to be added to. So for instance, this is my ID here. And then we need to choose the VIP package that we're going to use. We're going to choose VIP1 or VIP2. So I'm going to choose VIP1, because we'll, sorry, just VIP, sorry. Um, and I'll pull that up here. So we'll go VIP. And then we're going to hit enter. Now as soon as we hit enter, it's going to add one um, token to our wallet uh, under the VIP token. So here you've successfully purchased one times VIP T1 token. Type token menu to see more information. So if we type in token menu or VIP menu or whatever menu we want, you can see our token balance is now moved up to five from four. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So let's uh, let's go through the Tebex setup and uh, I'll show you how that kind of works with that command I just showed you. All right, so this is the uh, Tebex website for those who aren't familiar. Uh, Tebex is basically a payment platform that you can use to run uh, commands to your Rust server in exchange for money. Um, for instance, if a player you know, logs in, pays 10 bucks to become VIP, this will send the command to your server to register that player and add that player to the VIP group, and then you know, your next amount of days remove them from said group as well. Uh, it can handle things such as refunds and everything else. Uh, we use it because it's anyone that actually seems to work for us. Um, and yeah, but there are you know a few others out there that do the same thing. Um, but because we use this, I'm going to demonstrate it on this particular platform. So the first thing we're going to do is going to create a package. Uh, we're going to add new and add package. Now in terms of the name, we're going to call this token. It doesn't really matter. You can call it well, basically what's going to be seen by your players. So I guess it matters to you, but for the purposes of this demonstration, it doesn't. Uh, add a description. Uh, set a price. So set what, obviously whatever you guys value this particular token at or whatever the, the token group allows access to. Uh, and you need to create one of these for each individual VIP token group that you've created uh, in here. So, you know, I need to create two different packages, one for VIP, one for VIP2, uh, depending on what was, you know, what was required. Um, and everything else is kind of irrelevant except for the commands line here. So we need to add a new command. This command is going to be run when the package is purchased. So as soon as that player purchases that package, it's going to queue up a command to be run. Uh, and as soon as Tebex next communicates with your server, it's going to run that command and <coughs> redeem that token for the player. Now here is where we add the command that we need to redeem. So before we, you obviously remember that we did add token as the uh, actual command. We then need to add our password, which is here. And then we need to add the player's ID. Now we don't want to hard code an ID because that wouldn't make sense. Um, we want the players to be able to provide us with their ID when they log in to pay for their VIP with their Steam account. So Tebex is a handy thing that we can access here. Just, just go into help, scroll down a little bit and you'll see ID. So we'll return the primary ID for that player, which is the Steam64 ID. So we're going to copy in the curly brackets ID, paste it in as the third argument. And then we're going to type in the, VI, the, uh, the the tier that we're going to add. So VIP or VIP2, which is effectively the key to access this. So we're just going to do standard or VIP. And that is pretty much it. So we're going to click create. And I've now created a, uh, a group called token. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run a test payment on here. So I'm going to click create payment. I'm going to put my ID as the as the ID for this. Uh, I'm sure it's around here somewhere. So I'm gonna grab my ID as the ID for this one here. Um, but traditionally when a player logs in via Steam, it's gonna provide this information anyway. Uh, and we're gonna choose a package. I'm gonna to go to token. And click create. So you can see here it's uh, created a new payment. So we're gonna 
click on here to view it, you can see that it is uh, processing this payment. The commands will be generated shortly. Yep. All right, there it is. Uh, package status is due. It means it hasn't been sent yet, so we're waiting for that to communicate. So what I'm going to do very quickly is just going to reload the Tebex plugin on my server. And that should generate that payment straight away. There you go. So it's double printed here. I've got a... Um, uh, sorry, I actually queued up two different commands there. So, uh, yeah, it's basically printed two... Well, sorry, it's, it's added two tokens to my uh, Tebex. Uh, and happy days. So I've got to go to uh, VIP menu. My balance is now seven. That's pretty much it. So, uh, yeah, again, many ways you can use this for your server. Um, if you've got multiple groups that you can create if you've got plugins that you want to monetize for your server so for such as personal recyclers personal furnaces you know fast crafting that sort of thing um, you, all you have to do is just simply create a group assign the permissions and then create a token that represents said group uh, i'll post the the four tokens that i've created up into the sales page as well uh, if, if there are any particular tokens that you'd like me to create create images for i do have a tool for it as well that is fairly straightforward um, I'm happy to post a, post them publicly in there as well. Uh, anyway, if you have any questions, message me on CodeFling or on Discord. Otherwise, yeah, hope you guys hope this you know helps help some people out. Hope you guys make some money. Enjoy.